<clears throat> Hello. Uh, it has been a long time since I've done a tutorial, uh, but I thought I would try and get back into the tutorial game. They're probably not going to be close to regular because my work has is getting, it's getting to that point where I don't have very much free time, hence why there's not been many tutorials. I've not even played Fallout in months, let alone done any tutorials or modding for it. So I'm going to start with something relatively easy and with something that will go into the, inter into the interior series that I started in my last time. And I'm going to demonstrate how to create an ambush. And the easiest way to create an ambush is simply to use these packings that I'm using here. So, and I've clicked off them so I can find them again. Here we are, they're in miscellaneous, packing, and they've got all these little number 12s next to them. So you can either search for ambush, and you'll bring a few different types of ambush. Or we can search for the specific type of enemy that we want. But we're going to go for a specific ambush type here. And to see what am type of ambush we're going to be creating, we can right click and preview. And so you can see here, this is a ghoul that will crawl out from under something like a desk. This is a ghoul that will crawl up, perhaps from um, some kind of vent on the ground. This will be a ghoul that is just lying on the ground. And this is a ghoul that will climb over something like a bookcase. And yeah, those are all the ones uh, that we've got. So let's do something simple, like let's just have our ghoul lying down on the ground. So if we click and drag this packing item, a whole bunch of things are going to appear now. Um, like that. See, they're floating up in the air. And they all start as one, like, selected object, so we can just move them around really easily. So this big box here is the trigger. And when the player walks into this trigger, uh, the ghoul will get up from his furniture here. And this is the ghoul itself. So the ghoul will load into the furniture. So we don't really have to worry about them being close together. These idle packages don't really appear to be for anything because the ghoul will start off in his furniture here and and then get up when the trigger is used. So these are the two most important things. I've even had these be outside the world and it's worked just fine. So once we've all got all this placed into our world, we can manually move these around individually now. So if we click on just one item, we can then start moving them as individual pieces like this. So we can put our ghoul, let's put him right in the corner like this. And we'll just make sure it's at least slightly close. And we can double click on this and choose its difficulty by going along here and looking at leveled actor. Easy, medium, hard or very hard. So let's just set it to medium and the colour will change like this to indicate that it's a different type of enemy. And now our trigger, so if I just press 2 this will appear. But I'm going to keep it off now for now to position it. So I'm going to make it just away from the door, like this. I'm just going to press 2 to get this little thing up. And this is a nightmare to do, because you have to get it in exactly the right place, or the creation kit won't recognise it. I'm just going to make sure that our marker is within the bounds of the room, so I don't accidentally trigger it when I'm in this part of the room. Like that. And let's just do it like that. So now, press 2 to get rid of that. And when the player enters this trigger, this ghoul will just automatically get up. We don't have to set anything up because that is the beauty of packings. Things always just, they just work, to, to borrow a phrase. So what I'm going to do now is go into the game and demonstrate how that works. <laughs> 